always going to be a part of me. And I will love her. I mean, she was the first girl who made me understand what love could really be. I saw things that I never even knew existed when we were kids. So? So, we grew up. And growing up changes things, even love. Elizabeth and I, we have all this stuff between us now. The lies and the hurt, affairs, addiction, children by other fathers. I mean, we've been through so much. I mean, how we even put up with each other. Right now, I just appreciate the fact that she has separated herself away from Jason for the sake of Jay. I don't know how long it's gonna last. Look, it's okay, relax. I know, you know that Jason is Jake's father. How could you not? Spinelli told me. I didn't tell anyone, I, I swear. Because of your loyalty to Jason? Be no, because I, I didn't know what I should and or shouldn't do. So I kept my mouth shut. I'm so sorry, Lucky. I just kept wondering what Mom would have said. Are you kidding? Mom, she would have loved if Elizabeth and I were able to work it out. I mean, she was an incurable romantic, a card-carrying optimist. That's the way she was always. Well... She had to be. She was married to Dad. She had no choice. Yeah, well, she looks past the things. Even the bad. Looks like I inherited the blinders for that. But not the forgiveness. What happened with you and Sam? She did something that I don't know was forgivable. So she did something to you? I just saw the kind of person that she can be. Well, we can all be rotten people under the right circumstances. Or the wrong circumstances. Okay, I am not defending Sam. I don't even like her. She, you know, I just want you to be happy. And it seemed like Sam made you happy, kind of. Yeah, well, I've lived with enough lies enough to last a lifetime. And Sam, not even ten minutes out that door, she called back and told me something else that wasn't true. And the idiot that I am, I was starting to believe what we had could be real. No. No. I don't care what happens. Whatever you want to know, you can ask me. I will. But I want to talk to my father first, unless you know some reason why I shouldn't. No, Claudia. You can talk to anybody you like to. Come on, Jen. your mouth, especially with me. You need to stop treating me like an idiot. I know exactly why you brought my half-sister here. I'm gonna go to Kelly's to get some takeout, but brace yourself, because when I get back, I'm gonna beg you to let me crash here. You can stay here as long as you want. See, you do care what happens to people. <laughs> you're not people, you're my sister. No, you care what happens to everybody, Lucky, no matter how angry you are. If anything... You are somebody who cares too much, and I think that's what leads you into trouble. <sighs> you want to be a good father to Jake to make up for what Dad did or didn't do. Oh, I wish it was that easy. I also know that you want to protect Jake from Jason's enemies. If everyone thinks you're his father, then he'll be safe, right? The truth is, I want to protect Jake from Jason, too. I know that you have a different take on the guy. I, I just know how kind he can be. And I know the business that he's in. I'd rather she have a child by anybody else. But I still think that this connection is going to get her in some kind of trouble that there's no getting out of. Claudia's 
been your backup plan all along, hasn't she? If I got too out of line and you couldn't control me the way you controlled my father all these years, you thought, as eldest child, Claudia would be the perfect figurehead to head up this organization, like my father did, like I refused to be. Why are you so paranoid, John? It's not paranoia if someone's actually after you, is it? You run Claudia while she runs the organization. Is that how things are going to work now? Look, for once in your life, will you stop acting with your emotions and think with your head? Huh? And please, learn this business before you throw in with Sonny Corinthos and get yourself killed. You gotta stop slipping up. The cops always get you because you gotta know. I am not gonna let you or anyone else run this empire into the ground. Looks like you're the one that slipped up, Trevor. Claudia's not who you remember. <laughs> it's something tells me you're gonna have a much tougher time with her than you ever dreamed of having with me. As far as I can see, she's already got your number, so you know what? I think I'm gonna sit back and watch. This could be fun. Big mistake, walking around this town without any bodyguards. I'm unarmed. Well, that's your second mistake. Why shouldn't it be your last? I'm getting an awful lot of breaks lately, and mainly because Jason has been giving you the benefit of the doubt. I'm tired of that. And I got too many loose ends in my life, and I'm getting very angry because I'm not paying attention to business. If you're in the business of shooting on our men, tonight's your lucky night. You're just crazy. There's your old man. <laughs>